Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Fight Channel here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at UFC Fight Night here, ladies and gentlemen, from the United Arab Emirates, ladies and gentlemen, for this Fight Night, ladies and gentlemen. Early starting time here, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting with a women's straw weight belt here, ladies and gentlemen. Number seven versus number ten. I had to read it for this matchup. for this strawweight fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lupe Lupita Gogina! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mackenzie Dunn! Ready, fight. Ready. Well, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale or you're going to be outside the door. You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena all the way back to UFC 75, champion versus champion, Rampage versus Dan Henderson from the UFC has brought fights that have been the roof of Arena. Nice jab there by Godinez. Nice right hand. And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's not able to get it. She's not able to get it. Her opponent is ready to expect the attempt. She has to mix it up. She has to trick her. Go to a different shot to secure this takedown. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Oh, nice elbow. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed there. She finds her way out of the clinch position. She got that single collar time. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. There. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. You use every weapon available. And she is using her kicks as her main weapon. Good straight hand there by Lupi. Oh, beautiful combination. Very efficient with her strikes tonight. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Big shot lands for both guys. She got that single collar tie. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Great timing there. Beat the hips and got the hip. That was nice. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Turns in full guard now. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Oh, what a strike from her there out of that bottom position. She is offense all the time. Godinez is going for the sub here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, great submission defense. Making all these shots count. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level ground exchanges that they just experienced. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways. 
and it's starting to pay dividends for him. Lands a jab. Oh, strong body kick by her there. Another big kick out. Durham's in half guard now. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Dern strike attempt there is blocked. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. Man, she is at the relentless best late in the round and gets another takedown for good measure. Big moment in the fight to secure a takedown late. Leaves the last impression in the judge's mind, but also makes her feel good that she finally got that takedown that she's been chasing this whole round. Five minutes in the books. What are you doing out there? You gotta set up these shots. You just can't go out there and telegraph the shots. They're never gonna work, all right? We gotta set up these takedowns with punches. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything Great she fight. wanted to do. Great. She was racing to position. Great. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. Godinez gets touched by that kick there. She was able to block that one. She's got the single collar time. That left hook was crazy. Takedown. I gotta think if Gilroy High School Wrestling practice oh. next week, they're gonna be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall. And Stern's now looking for a Darce choke. She's got the Darce choke locked in. Oh, under the chin here. It's working. It's going to be oh, She's got no self position now. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's, it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. Godinez is back in full guard. Oh, good defense, yes. Derns and half guard. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete having a lot of success with her striking team. Well, you can see it from the moment she came out the corner. She was confident. She told us she would not chase takedowns. She felt like she was even better in the striking. And to this point, she has proven exactly that. So we got a little bit of separation now, but watch out for the setup. You gotta think she's gonna shoot for another takedown. She's gonna shoot for another takedown, and it may not look pretty. It may be her taking a shot halfway across the octagon. As long as she gets into contact, she is comfortable because she wants to fight down on the floor. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Godinez has got the full mount. Oh, beautiful 
beautiful job Good. by her to reverse position on the ground, and now she's in a spot to maybe finish this fight. Yeah, she did a really good job of reversing the position and going right on the offense to gain her dominant position. That's a very high fight IQ. Changes her stance. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, nice. Five Godines. Big bruise starting on the right side of her body. Not good. Oh, high kick. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lupi. Another takedown lane. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Attempting a choke now. Oh, she's got it locked in tight. Holding the position, still working for a submission. Looked pretty tight to me, but she bails on the submission attempt. Lands with the ground and pound. Dern's in half goal. Nice. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Final seconds here of round two. A tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Third and final is underway. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by Lupi. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Nice jab by Godinez. The takedown is not there. She gets inside and gets the single collar top. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Oh, beautiful sequence by her there. Gets her opponent thinking about the hands, changes levels, and puts her on her rear end. Go high and low. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, wow, she's got the arm triangle tight. She's got it in tight. Still going for the submission here. She might have it. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh, right into Mount. All right, well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is, gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense. I mean, she's so locked in. She doesn't give you any chance. It'll be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. Godinez is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. It looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. She's doing a great job of controlling her. Now she's got to get her chest to the mat and let her shoulder do the rest of the work. She closes the distance and gets single collar. All right, so she lands it. Oh, my God. 
Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Nicely done. All right, so the body shots continue to be the narrative in this fight. And a lot of bruising now starting to develop on that side. You know, the kicks, the punches, the knees, just the ability to mix up all of her strikes to the body has allowed for her to get out ahead of her opponent. Now, her opponent's confused. She has no answers for these body shots. Nice. Nicely done. Massive key to the body land. Dern's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, this has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a great fight, a great story from the very moment the official said fight. Side control now. Dern's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. In the half guard. Nice transition. Submission attempt for her here. That dark choke is tight. Fight IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub was her there, so she kept the dominant position. Oh, Lance with the round and pound strike. Her team steps in! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Well, there is gonna be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was gonna get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mackenzie Dunn! Well, she is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame her after, after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight okay, coming in day, played out that I way on fight. Like Sometimes you can say a lot of things and Brazilian. you're not One sure day, it's actually going to happen. Tonight, everything she said... All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to finish out a match here, ladies and gentlemen. We got more UFC here, ladies and gentlemen, on UFC Fight Night from the United Arab Emirates, ladies and gentlemen. We see you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.